Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 26 of the August Lico Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. My internet's been kind of bad, so this video may be a little bit weird because I am recording it live. So if if it does get bad, just fast forward or watch it on a faster speed. Anyway, okay. So what if I pre-order is to pre-order Traverso. You, uh, you record the notes while you, otherwise we be Caught a sentinel. Okay. For example, da, 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 return true if it is a correct pre ordered choice of a binary tree is guaranteed that. Okay. So you're given this pre order e thing. Oh, you're not allowed to reconstruct a tree. That's a little bit awkward. Uh, huh. Why? What would be a forced situation? Okay, so basically you just have to consume everything. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think this is pretty okay. You just have to do the recursion and, and do it that way. And the thing it, it, with pre-order is that it just means that for every node, there's two corresponding um, children. Mm, but it's a little bit awkward the way that I, uh, I have to figure out how to... Because the way that I usually do this, or thinking about it, is to use side effects. But maybe there's a better way to handle this. Um, yeah, but basically, you can just have like an index is equal to zero, and is equal to the length of the pre-order. And then now we just have a pre-order. Uh, okay, now, uh, let's just convert this to tree, maybe. So then, because I like my function name being pre-order makes more sense, but yeah, but given a node, so okay. Wait, what? No, just given a hmm. What do I want to return here? Well, what, what is an input? Maybe that's a little bit awkward, but okay. But oh yeah, um, hmm. Now this is wrong, obviously, actually. So let's just call this. Tree mm, naming things is hard for me, but but we'll we'll just ignore the fact that that's the case and uh, and do this for now. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. So basically, the value don't doesn't even matter because it doesn't have to be a binary search tree or anything; just a regular binary tree. So in that case, I don't even have to care about the contents. Uh, just uh, we, c we care about the content long enough to know that it is a, a dollar sign or hashtag or whatever or not. So, okay. So if, if index is at an end, then, then this is no good, right? Okay. So now we have some good is either true maybe. I'm not sold on this quite yet. This is, this is very ad hoc and, whatever but yeah but if tree of index is equal to uh then we we just kind of return because then that means that this number is good um uh, maybe on um, i'm try trying to think whether it makes sense to increment the index here or afterwards because i guess here doesn't really add, make sense either so I guess we'll just do it here. So th then we go to the next character. Else, it's just a number. Then we go pre-order, pre-order, kind of, and then return, um, something like that. But we have to figure out how to do the index. So then we consume the index. So we index first as the pre-order, and then we do the ne the left and then the right. Yeah, I think this should be good, maybe. So now we do a pre-order and then we return good. Um, we have to do some non-local index here as well. And I think this should be good, but I am not as confident as I am usually. So let's give it some testing. Give it some love. Oh, I, I am wrong on this, by the way. D this case, for example, I think I'm wrong. And again, now I seem to be running into some internet tech difficulties. 
it's been bad internet all day um okay so i know that i usually say i don't cut away but there's actually not well i guess actually i could improve the code because i know that this is wrong but i might uh cut out for a second because this is really stupid uh what year do i live in living in new york city hmm. okay uh Oh yeah, so I think we just have to return good and index is equal to n because if index is not equal to n, that means yeah, if index is not equal to n, then that means that we're either short, which is in this case, um, or I guess if it's go over, it, good is already four, so so yeah, so I think this should be uh, definitely more accurate, a little bit more confident. Again, I am having difficult uh, internet connections. I logged in. I had um, it was good for about five minutes out of the last like two three hours. So just long enough for me to start to, this video, but not long enough for me to submit. Okay, so I'm. I mean, you could stay. I'm gonna. I, this is one of the rare times I will edit away because you can see that literally my internet is having technical difficulties. So yeah hey welcome back and i'm back I, mean, I guess you probably didn't do much but okay so now i'm able to run the code so it looks okay here um i probably am okay let's actually write a few more test cases like an empty one uh do do and maybe do 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 uh one two three no whatever okay and let's give it another spin oh I hope this this internet stays up long enough for me to submit. So this looks good. I'm confident, or I don't know if I'm confident. But my internet's having issues, so let me just give this accept. Okay, so it is an accept. Yay. Um, yeah. So we look at each character slash node, if you want to call it that, at most one. So this is going to be linear time in terms of space. This is going to be uh, O of H space, where H is the height of the proposed tree, because that's just the cost of the stack. Even if with no parameters, they, you do create some, or you do use some stack space. So yeah, so linear time O of H space. Um, yeah, I I don't like the side effect to be honest. Of, but I think that's how I I generally do it. Maybe I have to do some learning about, um, learning about how to write this in a cleaner way. So yeah, so even you know just because you get it accepted doesn't mean you can improve the code. And in fact, for me, sometimes that's. I even do, I aim to do that afterwards because it helps me to, you know, already have a base of what, what is, you know, what, what, do, like I know what works so then I can work to iterate on that um, sometimes, especially now that I know what I want to express. But yeah, um, hmm, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Apologies for the internet and weird cuts. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.